Hey guys, what's going on? Boxcar here with the Brocky dog. Can we see him? I can't see because these glasses. There we go. Anyways, I'll take off the glasses so I can see. Uh, I'm out here at Dennis Cove Recreation Area in Eastern Tennessee. I'll be out here for a few days, celebrate my birthday, my big four, nine. Uh, out here hanging out. I've got a few days. I haven't made a video in quite some time for my personal boxcar hikes page or for my uh, trails or recovery page just because I've been so busy at work and uh, doing stuff like that for the season that uh, I haven't had a chance to even get out and do any hiking. Now we uh, wound up uh, closing a couple months early for the season so we closed like two months early for the season so me and a uh, rocky dog decided we're gonna hang out a little bit we went over to help a guy at the station who owns a hostel a buddy of ours and uh, we're gonna be cooking for him a few days a week um, kind of see where that goes and what happens there um, for the next you know indefinitely uh, we're going to try to get some time off, get some more camping and hiking, boondocking, uh, stuff like that, and the SUV in. So, camp's a little messy right now. I just got here. You can see them behind me. Everything's kind of scattered. There's the tent. I'm using that Best Sport three-person tent again for car camping. It ain't really a through-hiking tent, but it's been great for me and the dog for car camping. It's awesome. Got a new cooler back there I'm testing out. Let's see if we walk over here. This is the Ozark Trail, uh, 35 liter. But what's really cool about this one is what I really like, if you could see in here, is it, it's got a little tray area. So you got all the ice, and it's got a little tray area in there that pulls out where you can keep your, uh, you know, like your lunch meat and stuff like that, or whatever, cheeses, stuff like that that you don't want to get messed up with, uh, you know, messed up with water when the ice melts. So that's a pretty cool little feature. I got it. I'm going to test it out, do a review on it this weekend. I uh, did a little review on the Best Sport tent uh, down in Florida last season. We'll do another one here out here. Weather's supposed to be good. Hopefully I can get some fly fishing in. Uh, 10 car fishing, I should say. And we're just going to spend the next few days out here just chilling, hanging out. Um, you know, just relaxing. So... I don't have any service out here, so by the time I upload this video, I will already have been back to civilization. But uh, anyways, yeah, uh, looking forward to what the future holds here. We'll see what happens with the station and uh, how the cooking gig goes there. They've really uh, been helping me out, you know. Uh, I think the resort I work at is about to kick me out of the place that I'm living. Um, you know, because the resort's not open, so... Uh, kind of battling with that but you know when I packed up the truck today when I packed up the truck today and uh oh, drop my buff when I packed up the truck today and I actually took off kind of feeling free you know I was like oh man I was like it feels good to just be on the road so uh we'll see what happens between you know now and when Tennessee gets too cold but all right, guys, I appreciate you watching. Boxcar's going to try to have some more videos up for you uh, for Trails of Recovery and all that fun stuff. So I appreciate you watching, guys. Take care. Until next time, Boxcar's Owny Kabowski. Hey, guys, what's up? Boxcar here with the Brocky Dog back there. Day two of... Uh, our little birthday getaway to Dennis Cove Recreation Area. Um, waking up this morning and just uh, making me some Hills Brothers cappuccino and some Mountain House biscuits and gravy, but I'm also gonna scramble me up a few eggs a couple of eggs one for Brocky dog two for me put them on top of that biscuits and gravy we're gonna go uh <clears throat> go on a little hike and uh we're gonna go on a little hike and check it out and uh 
across the bridge here, walked down, seen a spot yesterday evening where there was some trout holding. So, uh, you know, they chased a couple flies. I only, I'd only brought two flies with me. I didn't have my waders or anything on. Uh, but today we're going to walk down there right across the bridge and follow a path down, forest road down a little bit, see if I can find a spot down there. I'm looking behind me there, I don't know. The creek's down there, the bridge is up this way. So, uh, gonna walk down, check it out, see if we can't get a couple trout today. Um, and see what happens, just go for a nice hike. And uh, checking out this, uh, I had seen them before in different outfitters and stuff. It's called Hawk and Company. Hawk and Company, uh, kind of a midway uh, pullover half sip uh, that I picked up at a Burke's Outlet, which is like an out, you know, I don't know, Burke's Outlet here in Tennessee is kind of like Bell's Outlet in Florida or, uh, you know, like an outlet store. But uh, I picked it up there, half zip, it's a midweight. It's gonna be good for shoulder season or just like kind of a layer system. Uh, picked it up for uh, 12 bucks. So I'm gonna try it out, give it a review too. Got a couple things to review. New sleeping pad down there I picked up mostly for car camping. Uh, I didn't sleep real good last night, I don't know. First time being out in the woods. Uh, not really out in the woods, first time being out in uh you know in the tent in almost a year so uh uh just weather was beautiful i don't know why i just didn't sleep real good at all i just kept uh tossing and turning and uh you know lower back pain kind of stuff but uh i'm gonna let some air out of that sleeping pad tonight and uh try to get some sleep uh like i said i think i was just restless uh, excited to be out here and um, just not used to sleeping on an inflatable pad anymore but uh, other than that I went through the truck cleaned out the whole truck yesterday organized my hiking gear and my boondocking gear and uh, we'll plan on a you know I'll put some new stickers up decorated the cooler with stickers I don't know if you can see it in behind me or not let's Let's walk over this way and see if we can get decorated it all up with a couple of my, uh, you know, uh, people who've supported Trails of Recovery in the past. And uh, basically just, uh, yeah, that's going to be our day today. If I catch any trout, I'll let you guys know in a follow-up video that I'll just attach to this one. And uh, all right, guys, I appreciate you watching. Have a good night, a good day. A good week. September's almost over. It's fall. Right around the corner it's October. Next thing you know it'll be 2022. All right guys, boxcars coming to you from Trails of Recovery. I'll talk to you later. Hey guys, what's going on? Boxcar. Rocky dog. It's day three. Um, out here at Dennis Cove Recreation Area. Uh, a little cloudy this morning, but it looks like the sun's going to break through. I got me a cup of uh, Hills Brothers sugar-free cappuccino working. And I'm uh, going to make some pancakes and eggs today for breakfast for me and the Brock dog. And uh, then we're going to check out this spot that we found uh, yesterday. Looked pretty promising for some trout. So we're going to try to float some flies down it today. If we can't get nothing to rise, then we're going to, I guess, run a nymph or something. Seen a lot of like, uh, a lot of like terrestrial bugs floating on the top of the water yesterday in this one spot. Like tons of them kind of match the hatch type thing, if you will. And uh, I couldn't get them to rise for nothing. So, and I know they were prime spots for holding, but, uh, we're gonna check it out today, and if I can't get nothing to rise, then I'm going to uh, try a couple of little weightless nymphs or a couple of little nymphs or something, and uh, check it out. Tomorrow is my birthday, my big four nine. Uh, I'll pack up out of here tomorrow, 
and head uh, over to the station in uh, Roan Mountain. I've got to go there, and uh, I've got to actually work a few hours tomorrow for Dave. Um, go ahead and just go over there and knock it out tomorrow and uh, start planning our next move for next week and planning our winter, kind of mulling over some options on what we're going to do for the winter time. Um, we have a couple options, you know, one of them stay at the hostel and work all winter so we can uh, just be around whatever, hikers and stuff. Or uh, we could go to Florida. We could uh, go to Arizona. Uh, or wherever we really want to go. I know I like to spend Thanksgiving and Christmas with my mom um, down there in Florida. So, But we'll see what happens between now and then. I mean, you know, I'm definitely going to spend Thanksgiving and Christmas with my folks. Well, we'll with my mom. Uh, Dad will be there in spirit. But uh, let a little air out of that air mattress last night. The, uh, and I seem like I slept pretty good. You know, I didn't wake up with any major back pain like I did before. Actually blew up one of my extra inflatable pillows. And I put it under my head so I had two inflatable pillows. That's just the price you pay with uh, getting older. But, uh, you know, it seemed like it raised my head a little bit. And uh, just, you know, I just relaxed, hung out. Had a good time. Uh sat by the fire, burned off some firewood, and, um, you know, had a good day yesterday. Today, you know, if the clouds break here, um, just going to hang out and do the same thing. Uh, relax is the big thing. I said I'm about to make me some pancakes and eggs. Uh, you know, keto pancakes, actually, and sugar-free syrup, because I've been trying to watch on that stuff and keep a uh, Keep it in check so maybe old boxcar can get off this medicine that they've got him on. But uh, listening to some music, went through my electronics yesterday, my SD cards, and uh, labeled them, you know, because I had like five or six SD cards from hiking. And some of them was music, some of them was books, some of them was movies, some of them was blah, 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 and blah, and blah. But I went through them and I labeled them all. So now I know when I go in there, if I want to listen to audiobooks, bam, there it is. If I want to listen to music, bam, there it is. If I want to watch a movie, bang, there it is. And uh, I also got my portable hard drive that I didn't bring on this trip, but uh, my portable hard drive has everything that I've ever downloaded or bought or anything like that right there on, uh, right there on my... Uh, hard drive so um that will be coming with me on long-term stuff whenever i move out of the resort and uh speaking of the resort at lakeshore there i don't know what's really even happening there i have the place there um but my supervisor had told me that the owners were going to talk to me sometime this week but i've been camping all week about leaving so i haven't uh, even talked to them yet, but I'm assuming they have to give me 30 days, or I'm, I'm assuming that they would give me 30 days um, to get my sentimental stuff out of there, maybe mail it home, and, uh, you know, all that good stuff. But uh, we'll see what happens with that. I'm not really stressing on it too much. As you guys know, old boxcar isn't too material. Um, but over the course of the last two and a half seasons, Working there in the season, I've accumulated, you know, pictures and knickknacks and uh, small stuff for gifts from the fo from my mom and stuff and whoever, you know, just sentimental stuff that really isn't travel ready. But uh, anyways, guys, I'll sign off today. And uh, if I get any trout, I'll make another video, let you guys know later. Um, and when I get back into civilization, probably tomorrow night, I'll get these videos uploaded in. I actually merged them all, so there's going to be all merged together in the one video. But anyways, yeah, everything slept good. The tent slept good. Um, sleeping pad, let a little air out of it. Cooler, surprisingly, it's day three. Cooler still. doesn't seem like any ice has melted, which is awesome because at first, when I first got this cooler, I put uh, 10 pounds of ice in it, and it was melting in like two hours. And I was like, dude, this ain't going to work because, you know, I was like, 
it just ain't gonna work if the ice melts that quick luckily it's held up now the weather's been pretty uh, ideal it's been beautiful weather out here um, but yeah it's held up ice super good so I don't know if I had something in the seal that wasn't sealing it or something I don't know what happened but now it's keeping ice super good and I'm super impressed with it so uh, so far we'll keep you updated on the hot days see what happens look for more from old boxcar like I said planning a trip next week um, I don't know where yet I'm gonna research up there around Roan Mountain see what I can come up with and I'll talk to you guys then later hey guys what's up boxcar Rocky dog it's a uh, day four out here at Dennis Cove recreation area and uh, we're about to uh, head on in to town we've uh, got everything about packed up here in the truck loaded down got to uh, pack up dad's chair take it with me it's my main chair I got a backup chair but sometimes I'll set that up pretend like the old man's out here with me oh, cuz I know he'd sure like it so I save a spot for him if he ever wants to sit down um it's uh September 30th box cars big four nine and uh, today's my birthday I got to uh, work today though I'm gonna go leave out of here head down the hill and I have to uh, go into the station for a few hours nothing major just a couple hours over there and uh, I'm gonna go in over there put in a few hours of work and then uh, now I got work Friday Saturday and Sunday there um, for a few hours but I'm just uh, you know uh, uh, playing it by ear and seeing what happens and uh, Next week now this is the last week that they're open in the Tennessee recreation areas. They start closing down October 11th So next week, I'm gonna try to find somewhere do a video segment uh, You know uh, next week next uh, Monday Tuesday and Wednesday try to get out and find some Somewhere, uh, I don't know if it'll be Dennis Cove or if I'll try to find somewhere up by Doe River. But regardless, me and the Brocky's gonna take advantage of this, go camping, and uh, I think I got you know got everything done that I need to be and have done. So, uh, you know, other than that, Boxcar's gonna head on out of here in the old trusty Dodge and uh, with the Brock dog, and we're gonna get to uh. We're going to get to where we need to go, and I'll talk to you next week, guys. Boxcar out.